That's like our third knife one. <laughs> hey all you people that enjoy Eggs Benedict but hate putting in that effort to make hollandaise. Welcome to... The best cooking show in the world. Two chefs. One knife. And... Butter Chicken Benedict. I don't know what it's to It's like Eggs Benedict's cousin. Yeah. Long distance. The one that fixes their computer when it breaks down. Mm -hmm. <laughs> <laughs> I came up with this in the cafe that I used to own. It was so good that our uh, neighboring cafe decided to steal our recipe. And um, yeah, there's a lot of drama to that. So <laughs> if you're watching, F you. That's the yeah. name of your and my Great, you guys! Yeah. Screw you guys. We're making butter chicken bacon. Yeah, yeah we are. It's not like we invented the Eggs Benedict or butter chicken, but I uh, said yeah. it. <laughs> If any of you are tuning in for the first time today, I am Chef MPH. I am Chef Grace slash Chef Yam. And it feels like we've been a while since we've done this. Yeah. Brutables have been busy, people. Yeah. Have you in your bag of Brutables? Yet. Um, We're on a chiptastic voyage right yeah. now. Yeah. If anything, I'll get some of our old footage and turn them into shorts. Because she wears short shorts. We, we like, like short shorts. shorts. <laughs> <laughs> what are we doing first? Okay, let's uh, start with marinating the chicken that's already been marinated. Nice. Um, I will insert a clip. So in I believe there. you use the same spices for the butter chicken sauce yes. as for the chicken. Yes. Okay. Turmeric, garam masala, chili powder, ground ginger, chili flakes, and cumin and garlic powder. Ta -da, we did it. Yay. It took us a while, but we got there. Yeah. <laughs> That's gross grace. That's gross grace. All right, um, so yeah, just all that. Have you added any extra salt? Or anything? Yes, salt, pepper, and a some olive oil. 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 Yeah, oil. Not olive oil, regular Makes oil. Come out easier. Great. Yeah, we're using what? Boneless skinless? We said that? Boneless, yeah, boneless skinless, skinless thighs. thighs. Yes. Dark meat, moisture. Mm -hmm, mm -hmm. I love dark meat. Good. We got a hot pan. It's heating up. We want to get a nice little sear. Look at that sear. That's what you want. Sound of the chicken dancing in the pan. This is the forbidden man. <laughs> Don't play around with it too much. We want to get a nice sear on the side, so we're going to let it sit for about a minute or so. I'm going to start flipping it. So, uh, we are not going to cook this all the way through. So, we're just trying to get a little sear on it, and then we're actually going to braise it in the butter chicken sauce itself so that the chicken absorbs a lot of that flavor from the sauce inside. I want to braise it out. The <laughs> pan is going to multi-purpose this pan. If you, you want all that brown bits in back into the sauce. What are the brown bits called? Do you have a weird name for it? It's the fond. F-O-N-D. Fond. Butter chicken. You need butter, right? So I'm going to put some butter. Of course, we're using balls again. They are literal balls. So. See? I got some small diced onion here. I'm gonna season that with a little bit of salt. So how are we cooking these things? A little brown on them? Yeah, just sweat it out. You want it a little translucent. You, want, you don't want it too brown. And we're gonna add some ginger. Let that cook out for a little bit. We got the garlic now. Okay, now it's spice time. So what we use to marinate the chicken, I'm gonna add some of that. So I got garam masala, got some chili powder, turmeric, uh, cumin, and just a little pinch of flakes. And because we already have ginger and garlic, I'm gonna leave the powder out. So I have some tomato puree here, tomato paste. It's more of a cheat. If you wanna use fresh tomatoes. A hack. A hack, yeah. <laughs> I like the taste of it. It's already it's cooked down. It's Half the work is done for you. Yeah, I have coconut milk. I'm gonna do a combination of coconut milk and heavy cream. That is coconut milk. Yeah. That's thick. Oh, it's all that. There's like no water in that. No, can. yeah, that's a good can. It was on sale. She's, she's thick. Sale at Walmart. That coconut can is dirty. Mm -hmm. And you know, because I'm Asian, I'm gonna rinse this can out with water. It's a handy water gun yeah. you got there. Yeah. So I'm gonna put a little bit of heavy whipping cream. Just... You can either use one or the other. Whatever you have, I decided to use a combination of both. <laughs> Should have went for the lips. <laughs> So 
as this is simmering down, we're gonna re-add our chicken because it's raw right now. All right, we're just gonna let that simmer for about 10 to 15 minutes on low. Poaching water, you're gonna want, how much, how much would you go? How much vinegar would you do? We want to be able to taste the vinegar. So yeah, then uh, you, Chef Yam likes to do a little, so that you crack all your eggs into like a big measuring cup or something that can hold them all. Then you swirl the water around and then you pour them all in in one slow motion in a shot and then all the eggs will be spinny spinny and you'll end up with that after yep. about a minute or two. So you can add these pre-poached so they're all ready to go. So what we're going to do, because they're pretty much heated all the way, once your chicken is like 99% done, we are going to drop these mad boys into the molten chicken sauce and we're going to reheat them that way. All right, so chicken's pretty much almost done. So we're gonna take our eggs. Just gonna drop them right in the middle here. You don't wanna cook them too long, we're just heating them because you don't wanna overcook them and have a hard yolk. So we're gonna put a little sauce on the top of them. All right, we'll give that another like minute in there, another 30, 40 seconds, that's all it needs. So we're gonna take out the eggs first, just because we can. Get that sauce in there. That looks good. You're on. All right, it's assemble time. So you have a pre-toasted English muffin? I do, double toasted. Of course, if you want to go with more of a traditional uh, theme, you can go with some naan bread, but I feel like the roundness is nice on this one. We've got some chicken thigh here, that, one on each bread. And then we got a soft poached egg. Now for our mock hollandaise sauce. Pour that all over. Oh damn. Oh damn. Look at that. And for Joe, we're gonna put tons of cilantro. <laughs> oh yeah. Alright, ready? Yeah. So you can see we got chicken, then chicken sauce, then boot and muffin. Chicken. Cheers. Oh. Oh. Cheers. Here we go. Oh yeah, mm. I'm not even talking about it. Mm. <laughs> 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 oh my god! <laughs> it's okay, people. There's still another one for me. I got a little bit on my mouth. <laughs> you got a little bit. That does not suck. <laughs> that was delicious. Just to let you guys know, it's delicious. It, you have to try it. All right. Okay, we'll be right back. <laughs> Did two just become one? Yep. yep. Keep alive and slow forever. Dream of you can be together. Say you believe it. Say you believe it. Oh, yeah. She wore an itsy bitsy teeny weeny yellow polka dot bikini that she wore for the first time today. 